actually going to need my minecart. Uh, what I will need is to grab some materials from down here for up there. For example, I mentioned that I wanted to uh, direct the rails over to the farm. Uh, currently they are pointed at the iron golem farm. I want them pointed at the crop farm. <laughs> you know, for growing food. Uh, I believe that will be more useful. Still no villagers. However, this is now much easier to escape from. Much less of a concern. rotten flesh. <laughs> uh, I also want to deposit those. I don't think I need the doors uh, down here. Uh, I do want the loom. I'm going to want the fish, including the buffer fish. Uh, one thing that the villagers will buy is granite, diorite, and andesite, uh, which is awesome, you know, obviously. farmer will be stationed. I can get him situated with a bed, with shelter, uh, assign him to a workstation. That might take a while, because um, I have to basically cycle through all of the different workstations that are available in my base until he's assigned to the proper one. <laughs> That's going to take a while. Um, but there are a few tricks that can be applied in order to speed the process up. Such as remaining organized for starters. building this entire place up here. 
But more importantly, I kind of need to, well, get started building it as well. <laughs> I know what you're thinking, but it looks fairly well built to me. Well, yes and no. Um, it is fairly well built, yes, but probably not to the degree that you think it is. If you're new here, uh, this would be a good time to leave a like on the video and uh, possibly subscribe to the channel. I have dug way too far on this. Let's see. I wanted over here. But yeah, if you look back into the playlists, uh, you will notice that uh, my uh, my playlist for Nexus Craft here for this series uh, has me starting off with basically a very undeveloped area. Uh, this pond starts off quite small <laughs> in comparison to what it is today. Uh, actually, I want to keep that as sand. Therefore, I shall keep that as sand. It's part of the decor. collected. Okay. Let me harvest the grass in favor of the dirt path <laughs> and the dirt itself. for the rail line set up. Now we want to 
place in the rail line. Uh, the reason why I use the smooth stone as a type of foundation for the rail is specifically because uh, Enderman can only pick up certain kinds of blocks. Uh, rail lines are not on that list. Uh, neither are smooth stone, but grass and sand and path blocks are. So you gotta be careful of that. because you don't want Enderman picking up all of your your rails. Um, let's see, we don't want this to lose momentum, therefore we want one there. I'm trying to decide now where to install all of the uh, blocks of redstone as well as the powered rails. Uh, one thing I can do is I can actually expand where the powered rails are covering. Now, one, two, three, four, five. I can just do this, basically. Just clear out those three. Actually, I wanted the smooth stone there. Let me put that back in. Install those three. One, two, three, four, five. Oops. There we go. One, two, three, four, five. into here, which point they will end up getting sent basically to the bed here. trampled it. Um, ba -dum, ba -dum. sure this is topped off. Uh, I then want to grab the sand out of here. <coughs> and one thing the villagers at the villager trading hall will allow me to do is uh, buy sand. I can purchase sand. Therefore, uh, I will actually have access to all of the glass I need as things progress. For now, though, I just 
need a lot more villagers. And in order to get more villagers, I need food. In order to get that food, I need to get started on getting the villager up here. Because that's going to get me food a lot sooner. Uh, now I need to go over here. Okay. And then... Ah, right. The next thing that I needed to fix was down here in the mine, actually. Specifically, where this rail meets up with the other rail. So I'm just going to go down here and just kind of make my way down here. Yep, this is where it needed to change over. Now that it's swapped, I can go ahead and... Do I not have a minecart on me? Oh, this is awkward. Do I have a minecart over here? No. There's some stone in here that shouldn't be in here. No minecart. Hmm. training. Um, you know, they, they get harmless at the last stage, but magma creams are actually a lot more aggressive. Uh, so if you're actually training to prepare to fight magma creams, you're going to want to fight a lot of slimes, <laughs> if that's your course of action. all the way down here. Uh, the next thing I need is stone. Yep, okay. Uh, next thing I need seems to be let's see. Can I smelt sand in a blast furnace? It does not appear so. That means that the only place I can smelt sand is in a furnace. Which is kind of interesting. Grip three dried kelp blocks. Just 
start smelting down this sand. And as you can see, my boots are just falling apart. However, my body piece and my uh, leggings are doing perfectly fine. Uh, that is the power of mending, of course. I can actually feed it signs as fuel because signs are kind of laggy. So I kind of want to actually feed it the signs as fuel. we can take it over to the crafting table here, craft some panes of glass. Uh, it's just the name for it. It's not actually painful. It's, you know, it's, it's a plane of glass, basically a uh, two-dimensional surface of glass. Which is called a pane. As you can see, it is very space efficient uh, because you need very little quantity of glass to actually create a large build with the, you know, panes of glass. I forgot to grab the minecart while I was down there. And now I want to grab the six things of glass, convert those into more glass panes. Um, it does seem to be using the signs as fuel. That's good. Cool. What I wanted it to do. Uh, 
don't really have much other use for them. Kind of the same for the fence gates, really. Like, I don't really have a use for bunches and bunches of fence gates. Or not fence gates, fences. Just fences. So this is helping me process a lot of the material that I otherwise would just kind of need to leave behind because, well, I don't really have much use for it otherwise. Um, right, the minecart. I need the minecart. Thank you. Uh, additionally, need more stone bricks and then I need to deposit the smooth stone surface. Actually, this would be a good time to use the minecart. Assuming I don't end up going the wrong direction. <laughs> I mean, even if I do end up going the wrong direction, it'll be fine, because I can turn it around. You know, I'm either ending up heading towards the villager trading hall, which is great because I do need to check on the villagers, or I'm going to end up heading towards the uh, farmer area, which is also great because I need to build that up, or I'm going to end up having the minecart stop on me like it did, and then I'm going to end up needing to pick it up and put it back on the minecart tracks. <laughs> because it didn't quite make the leap like intended. Ah, this will be great. Because as the moon is rising, I will be showing up right here and hopping straight into the bed. Which, obviously, uh, you know, removes me from the minecart because I'm no longer in the minecart, I'm in the bed, obviously. Okay, so these still need a full block. Well, it's a good thing I brought more stone bricks. say I'd need to rewatch the footage, but let's be honest, I'm not going to rewatch the footage. <laughs>
I left certain gaps because I wanted to have lanterns in those locations. Do I have the lanterns on me? I do have the lanterns on me. Okay, well, in that case, let me just bloop, rock it on over to here. Uh, yeah, I accidentally overclicked, as it were. Uh, did not mean to place an extra one of those lanterns. That's fine, though, because... Well, I can pick it up pretty easily. Do, 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 do. And there we go. Okay. Now... down glass. I had not noticed that that was covered. This, 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 now I want to retrieve from up here. starters I want to retrieve a full complement of potatoes. Uh, that's going to go towards building more villagers. definitely going top speed right now. <laughs> because I am in this minecart. Okay. 
I have any villagers available for pickup. Yes, I do. In fact, <laughs> I have multiple. That's good news. Means they weren't completely out of villagers. They were just being stingy. So let's go ahead and grab a few. If we can. from his little job chest over here. Uh, but first, I probably want to go up here. And, you know, uh, interact with these villagers through means of providing them more food to give to each other. have a bunch of food. Ow. Okay. Now, I want more lecterns. Whilst at it, let's go ahead and get the other villager so that we can get the duo done. Um, you're not supposed to go that way. You're supposed to go the other way. There you go. And they're nice and secure. Get you nice and snug. Okay. Now, let's see. You want... No. You? No. Okay, so you're going there. Okay, let me see if I've got this right. You want that one? <laughs> And then, if I remove these two, you're fine. Okay, so you're not associated with either of those two. You're associated with this one. What you offer is bookshelf and paper. Uh, bookshelf and paper. Uh, I plan to make use of the, uh, hold on, this track's not complete. Uh, I plan to make use of the, I plan to make use of the villager trades uh, quite effectively. Okay, so you want this one. Now, do you already have a job? You do. Which one are you? 
This one? No. This one? No. This one? Yes. Okay. Set. That one? No. That one? No. Means you want this one. Yes. Okay. Now we once again send off for a villager. How many villagers do we have left? We don't have any villagers left. So it must be the two up top that are linking to these lecterns that I'm placing down. Which is kind of awkward because they're not supposed to be linking to those. Um, unless there's like baby villagers involved, which I don't know. There might be. Um, anyways, let's go ahead and preserve these guys by lowering the trapdoor. That way they can't get shot at. At least not as easily. Uh, I mean, it's still possible, but not as easily. <laughs> uh, yeah, smooth stone slabs. There we go. Let's actually get the full stack of smooth stone slabs. Hop in, go for a little ride real quick. Say hi to the cats. <laughs> and we just make sure that these villagers don't get hurt. some point I will want to have the villagers uh, you know sending off one of the uh, the little ones to you know retrieve a new farmer good fresh farmer. Let's see what we've got here. What's our loop? Then we head up this way. Then we're going to very quickly make a U-turn, then do a zig and a zag, and then we're going to make a sharp turn towards the uh, pond, then another sharp turn towards the pond, enter into this little observation outpost here. Go ahead and rest. Um, looking at this, I actually noticed that I want this three tall because there is the chance that the villager could spawn on this and suffocate. They could spawn on the bed and suffocate. Therefore, I need to actually increase the height of the build. <sighs> Which is kind of unfortunate because I was very close to being finished with the build. But, you know, it's for villager safety. I suppose it'll be alright. Um, let's 
see. How am I going to get up here? I suppose I can do one of these? No. I need to start it lower. One of these. Yes. That means I need to go all the way around with all this stuff. Raising up all of the lights by one block. other lights <laughs> raised by one. <sighs> this is going to be a long day, isn't it? Where is... right here? Okay. Looks like there's one more left that I need to raise. this up. Put that away. Put that away. Uh -huh. Okay. So I've delivered the potatoes. Torches in there. Uh, let's see what else we got. I probably want to grab the dried kelp blocks away from this furnace because with all the extra uh, fuel, it's probably actually got too much. Um. Yeah, I'm not sure that's actually going to run out of fuel. Uh, I need stone brick. In order to make stone brick, I need stone.
Okay. Got that sorted out at least. Uh, now for a little bit more stone. Let's say three stacks should do it. I'm going to use a lot of stone brick in the future. It's a very good block. Um, very effective. She needed a block of glass for the villagers. I wanted to be able to see into the uh, into the baby chamber, so that I could see if I had any baby villagers that were currently growing. Because of the way I have this minecart track laid out, I can't exactly take the minecart to go all the way over here. I have to actually run. Because the next villager that I pick up is going to be used for the farm. Baby villager, you're not supposed to be out here. I'm going to lay a trap for this baby villager. That trap is very simple. Hey, hey, hey. Nope. You get back here. You sit. Okay. You're not supposed to go wandering into the villager trading hall. You have a very important job out here, Mittens. At least I'm assuming that's your name. So that was a little bit of a close call. I kind of singed the rails a bit. <laughs> I 
definitely singed a rail. Because I'm missing one right there. A powered rail at that. Oof. Do I have more powered rails? I do not. Nor do I have more minecarts on me. Let me put that stuff away. As well as this stuff, because you never know. Uh, this stuff I actually do want. Then you, mister, get to go on a very fun adventure. Whilst I chase after you. <laughs> wow, that just kind of, uh, did right through it, didn't it? Nope, not down here. Means he must be up here. I think I see him. Yep, I sure do. Means he's currently being situated with the bed up here. I do believe. Yep, there he is. doors on me. I do have the doors on me. Ah! Bye! <laughs> oh, man. They're considering this a raid. Because of this baby villager and the fact that I have a bell in this area. Okay. Well. That went fast.
Okay, so that's one down. Where's the other one? There he is. See, so some of them are spawning over there. Zombie pigmen. There's zombie pigmen in the raid portal, aren't there? Yep. Guessing there's going to be some spawning over there. No, doesn't look like it. Where'd they spawn this time? Oh, they're up on the cliff. 